Elon Musk announced that a brain implant created by his health tech firm is expected to start human testing within six months. During a recent presentation by Neuralink, Musk provided updates on the company's wireless brain chip while revealing his plans of implanting the chip in his own brain. He also discussed the prospects of conducting clinical trials. Musk reportedly stated that utmost caution and certainty is necessary to ensure the successful functioning of a device before it is implanted in a human. Neuralink has announced that it is working on brain chip interfaces that have the potential to restore vision for the blind and full body functionality, such as movement and verbal communication for individuals who have incurred spinal cord injuries. According to news websites, the technology aims to achieve a remarkable feat, using electrical signals to communicate with the brain, thereby enabling it to interpret information from sensors and translate them into movements or signals recognizable by the user. The company announced that the interface designed for the motor cortex can undergo human testing in as early as six months. Musk mentioned that the company has submitted most of the required FDA paperwork to allow the implant of the device into a human body. Neuralink has been conducting experiments on animals while it awaits the go-ahead for clinical trials. The goal of this technology is to create a direct interface between the human brain and computers, which could have a wide range of applications, from restoring mobility to people with paralysis to improving memory and cognitive function. The idea of implanting a microchip in the brain is not new, and there have been several research projects over the years exploring this concept. However, what sets Neuralink apart is the company's focus on developing a high-bandwidth, wireless interface that can transmit large amounts of data between the brain and computer in real time. The technology works by implanting small, flexible threads into the brain, which are then connected to a small device called the Link. The Link is a small computer that is implanted behind the ear and is designed to communicate wirelessly with external devices, such as smartphones or computers. The threads that are implanted in the brain are thinner than a human hair and are designed to minimize damage to the brain tissue. The threads are also flexible, which allows them to move with the brain and minimize the risk of damage or rejection. One of the primary applications of this technology is to restore mobility to people with paralysis. By implanting the microchip in the brain and connecting it to a computer or robotic device, it may be possible to bypass the damaged spinal cord and restore movement to paralyzed limbs. Another potential application is to improve memory and cognitive function. By implanting the microchip in the brain and using it to stimulate certain areas, it may be possible to enhance memory and cognitive function in people with brain injuries or neurological disorders. While the potential applications of this technology are exciting, there are also significant ethical and practical considerations that need to be addressed. One concern is the risk of infection or damage to the brain tissue during the implantation process. This is a complex and delicate procedure that requires a high level of skill and precision, and there is a risk of complications or adverse effects. Another concern is the potential for the technology to be used for nefarious purposes, such as mind control or surveillance. While the technology is currently being developed for medical and therapeutic purposes, there is always a risk that it could be used for other purposes in the future. There are also concerns about privacy and security. With a direct interface between the brain and computer, there is a risk that sensitive personal information could be accessed or stolen. There is also the risk that the technology could be hacked or manipulated for malicious purposes. Despite these concerns, there is significant potential for this technology to revolutionize the way we interact with computers and machines. By creating a direct interface between the brain and computer, it may be possible to create a more seamless and intuitive way of interacting with technology. It is also worth noting that the development of this technology is still in the early stages, and there is much work that needs to be done before it can be widely adopted. The technology needs to be tested and refined to ensure its safety and effectiveness, and there are still many unanswered questions about how it will work in practice. As of right now, Elon Musk's company, Neuralink, is working on developing a microchip that can be implanted in the human brain. While the technology is still in the early stages of development, it has the potential to revolutionize the way we interact with computers and machines. However, there are also significant ethical and practical considerations that need to be addressed, 
including concerns about safety, privacy, and the potential for misuse. As the technology continues to evolve, it is important that we carefully consider these issues and work to ensure that it is used for the benefit of humanity. Elon Musk says scientists only have a 5-10% to chance of being able to make AI safe. Although many people have put a lot of hope in the future of artificial intelligence and in the possibilities that can emerge from a world run with the help of cognizant machines, one tech mogul is not so hopeful. Elon Musk is highly involved in the creation of artificial intelligence, as well as research into the development of, of brain-computer interface technology that would allow humans to essentially merge with machines. His company, OpenAI, has even created an artificial intelligence system capable of self-teaching. Yet, despite his heavy involvement in the field, Musk remains apprehensive about a future run by machines and estimates that the ongoing efforts to make artificial intelligence safe for humans only has a 5-10% to chance of success. This dire prediction means that AI will almost certainly pose an immense risk to humankind, and Musk is not the only one to recognize and voice these concerns. Stephen Hawking repeatedly claimed that he was certain that artificial intelligence systems are distinctly dangerous and could potentially replace humans altogether. Yet the realm of artificial intelligence development moves resolutely forward, and with it the capabilities of non-humans. AI systems have been developed that create languages, express curiosity, diagnose illnesses, identify different or unusual behaviors, perform military simulations, and even systems that are capable of creating other AI systems. It would seem that, with only a small amount of further development, the machines would not need us anymore. However, Musk is less concerned with a robot uprising reminiscent of a scene from a movie and more concerned with the potential barriers and possibilities that he sees in a future run by artificial intelligence. Firstly, he is wary of the potential for a system to be created that is not only smarter than humans, but also has the capacity for independent learning with no limits. Even though algorithms can be programmed or trained to recognize good and bad actions, they lack the emotional aspect of human feelings. When this unlimited knowledge is combined with the fact that AI machines lack emotions, remorse, or an inherent moral code, the possibilities for what an artificial system is capable of is alarming. Musk is also concerned about the likelihood that this enormous power would be controlled by just a few companies with the funds to develop the technology and there is currently no oversight or regulations that would check the almost limitless power of whoever controlled the realm of artificial intelligence. It remains to be seen whether Musk's predictions will come to fruition, but in the meantime, researchers are carefully navigating this never-before-entered realm of non-human intelligence. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.